Hi, guys. Today we'll make a big chocolate. Right, a big chocolate surprise, Sammy. But what it'll look like is a secret for now, okay? So, guys, it's time to make the package for our chocolate gift. Hmm. But what shall we start with? Wow! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Scared Susan, I'm full of surprises. Oh, you'll give me some gray hair, Sammy. <laughs> Actually, that's a good idea. So, shall we try it? Try what? Try making a folding surprise box. How do you like my thoughts, Sam? I'm totally for it, too. I'm full of energy! One thing I know for sure, we'll need lots of chocolate. Let's start right now. I already feel energized. Sure, because you just ate some chocolate. And it's a vast source of energy. Oh, really? I urgently need a task. <laughs> you can look around the house. Maybe you'll find some chocolate. Huh. How can I understand what's really edible? What if... Bite! Ugh. This is not edible for sure. Here are our first pieces. Quite easy for now. I hope that Sam is doing all right, too. Things I do for experiments. Huh. Don't try this at home. Here are the finished parts. Soon we'll start gluing them. But Sam is still not here. I need to call him. I'm here, here, but without chocolate. Uh, then have this. It's time to show your cardboard cutting skills. You say cut it, I do it. No problem. One, two, three, four! <laughs> I guess chocolate had too much of an impact on you. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look good. I'd better hide it before Sue sees this. What's the rush, mister? Show me what happened. Nothing happened. No big deal. <sighs> better give me another task. Cardboard cutting is too boring. It's weird to hear this from the master of cardboard, but if you want, we need some colored cardboard for the walls. Bring lots of it. Woo! I'm on it! We'll have to choose the color. I hope Sam's enthusiasm will serve for something good. Guys, you can give a thumbs up if you like chocolate, too. Two, look! How do you like my new accessory? Looks good on you, as always, but I didn't ask you to make a necklace. Huh, seriously? When I saw the holder with colorful paper clips, I forgot everything else. <laughs> I thought so. But for our craft, we'll need colored cardboard. Holy macaroons, that's what I forgot! Memory is a weird thing. You can search in my room. There should be a package left. I'll be in and out before you know it. She'll be right back. Well, well, where is it? Where? What is here? Aha! Oopsie, that was a little clumsy. <laughs> Shivery cheddars, it's so difficult! Which color shall I choose? Which one? Okay, whatever, I have to hurry up and return to Sue. Sam totally dropped out of sight. What could be keeping him? Phew! Sue, so that was challenging here. Great. Now we'll cover all our parts with colored cardboard. First goes the thin layer of glue. And now comes a sheet of cardboard. Done. Ugh, such a small box. No, this won't do. Sam will fix it now. Be right back. Where is he off to? Ugh, he can't even sit still for a second. Now we'll glue all the parts to the base. Be careful. Glue it to the right side. I think it looks good. And now comes the tastiest part of our craft. We'll attach chocolate to the tape. And here. Remove the protective layer like this. And here's the magical basket! <gasps> I love sweets! Guys, give a thumbs up if you do too. Here we go, it's so exciting! Mmm, <gasps> my favorite Milka! <laughs> Chocolate cookies will fit here as well. Yum, yum! I'm sure Sammy will be happy when he sees that. And the last treat. Our first surprise box is ready. Try folding it. Like this. Fix it here. And here. Here comes our lid. <gasps> awesome! Close it. Now we'll test it. And it's working! Hmm, but I think something's actually missing. La -da -da, la -da. So, Sue, are you done? Look, Sammy, what do you say? Is everything ready? I don't know, really. I want to put something there, but what? 
Hmm, that's an unusual option. Uh -huh. Come to me, Sammy. Stand still. It's just for a couple of minutes, I promise. Hey, hey, slow down, lady. What's going on? <laughs> I guess I have a great idea. Just wait a bit and you'll see. That's much better. Sue, it came out great. All according to your measurements, Sammy. Oh, and where are these boxes from? Ah, back to my handiwork. <laughs> cool, right? Yeah, it looks good. But we don't have so many chocolate bars. Hmm, I'll make the lids for them and you'll have to deal with our chocolate problem. That's no biggie. Uh, wrong hat. I know it's just right. I'm off to the kitchen. The outline is almost ready. We just need to cut it out. The lid is assembled the same way as the box. The base for our lid is ready. And now we'll apply some glue. Like this. And great. Let's glue the colored cardboard to our base. Hmm, the walls also need a bit of color. We'll add it. Done! I'm gonna make some chocolate now! Huh, from what I wonder. Um, a little bit of milk. Some cocoa. Uh, I guess something's missing. Huh. Oh, so I refuse to cook homemade chocolate. It's too, too sneezable. <laughs> yep, it's challenging. Hey, remember how we made that huge chocolate egg? Egg? What egg? I get it, but it was so awesome to eat it afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't imagine that chocolate making would turn into such an adventure. Mm, nope, uh, I'm not ready to repeat that experiment again. But we still need chocolate bars. What if we take... No, Sue, it's not fair. We didn't agree on that. What to do, Sammy? We need to sacrifice something. Is it really that necessary? Oh, why? Uh... Sammy, it's just a couple of candies. I promise you will fill your storage soon. <sighs> okay, you won. I agree. <gasps> Whoa! Would you look at this stash? Of course, because it's the most delicious part of the craft. So, guys, shall we start? While Sam was busy with chocolate, I made more lids. Try to guess how many we have here. One, two, three. <laughs> I guess I made some good lids. <laughs> Sua, I don't know what else to put in there. Your turn to think. No problem, Sammy. Here we go. Done. And I filled this one with my favorite chocolate. Actually, any kind of chocolate's my favorite. Just the smallest box left. You'll see in a minute what we put inside. Ready, steady, go! It's time for yellow! And here comes more chocolate! <laughs> We're getting closer to the final surprise! Ready? Bibbity, bobbity, subscribity! <laughs> Did you like our unusual craft? And the final surprise was a blast, right? Of course. Then give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye. See you soon. Hi, guys. I'm going to show you how to make a bouquet that will last forever and smell really nice, too. Let's get started. First, we'll need an ordinary crate. Hey, look, Sam. Wow, a crate? Is it for the flour and the ice cream to take them out of the house? <laughs> no. You'll do that without the crate. Ugh. You're not helping anyway. What for? Ow! Oh, when the wood is untreated, you can prick yourself <sighs> on it. To smooth it out, I'll use this sandpaper. It's really easy and quick to do. Just like this. 
Now, we need to paint it, or it'll be too boring. Hmm, which color should we choose? Hmm, lavender, of course. Great choice. If you get some paint on you, it won't even be visible. Let's start painting the crate. This is a great color. Look, Sue, I'm like a chameleon. Yeah, <laughs> you're almost an invisible slime. Now, I'll show you how to create the aging effect using the crate. You mean make it look old? Why? Isn't it new? Well, things look really pretty with this effect. Why didn't we buy an old crate then? Those beautiful old crates are very expensive. They're called antiques. Uh, I don't get it. <laughs> you will once I show you. When the paint is dry, I'll apply some beeswax with a sponge brush. Here and there. Huh? It doesn't look any older. Wait just a bit more. Oh, if I wait more, I'll grow old myself! Oh, Sam. Let's paint the whole crate with white paint now. And wait for it to dry. Oh, I've grown old. I'm Grandpa Sam. <laughs> Great acting, Sam. Now let's age the crate. I'll use a sandpaper sponge on the surface of the crate. A little bit here and there. <laughs> Look at this cool antique crate! Just a few more details left. I'll paint these chipboard parts lavender. And apply a little bit of white paint with a round brush. Then, I'll glue them to the crate with Mod Podge. Sue, we've got a problem! <sighs> Glued yourself to the crate? <laughs> Save me! You look so great! Maybe I should leave you there. So... Fine, let me help. <laughs> there. Phew, thanks. Let's finish it. I'll fix everything with a matte polish. And the crate for the eternal bouquet is done! <sighs> what do? I'm so strong! Yeah, a real super slime. But I'm gonna need that. Uh, what is it? It's a floral sponge. It helps to keep water inside. <gasps> a sponge? SpongeBob, what happened to you? You're so gray! Let's glue our gray SpongeBob to the crate. Like this. And decorate it with white sisal. Interesting. An eternal bouquet, indeed. Just you wait, that's not all. Hmm. I'll take these lavender sprigs. <laughs> Just look at them. Holy cannoli, so beautiful! I'll stick the lavender sprigs into the sponge. <laughs> and add a few drops of lavender oil to give our bouquet a wonderful scent. Done! This bouquet is so gorgeous! It's just asking to be a gift for someone. <gasps> My mom would be so delighted to get it! 